Okay, this guy is um, it's kind of hard to see in the in the bushes. This is a this is a rough green snake. They are very hard to see in the trees. Rough green snakes have a uh, a really amazing camouflage, and there can be two or three of them sitting in a bush by a stream, and you you a lot of times you won't even see them uh, unless they move. And uh, they've uh, they've evolved to have that uh, camouflage and coloration. And that's what keeps them from being detected by quite a few predators. A lot of a lot of animals would prey on a rough green snake, such as you know other snakes, uh, hawks, owls, raccoon if it caught it, uh, possibly an opossum. Uh, any number of animals could eat eat a little guy like this. Uh, he doesn't have any venom to defend himself, so he uses a very strong odor that we call musk. And my hands are definitely going to smell after shooting this today. It is uh, very potent, and it um, wards off you know, animals that would eat it and makes me not want to handle it, but I am doing so for this video. Rough green snakes are very, very flighty. They're very wiry. Um, they definitely can be very quick and very hard to catch. And this helps them survive. They, uh, you st they're one of the earliest snakes you see in the season in, in Oklahoma. I've seen them as early as middle of January and early February. When the sun starts to come out, you find these guys basking in trees or bushes that are usually close to creeks. They have a, a really bright underbelly, and that underbelly just looks like an, another you know tree limb when you when you look at it, and along with the rest of the snake, the top of the snake, it, it looks identical to like a vine growing on a tree, and pretty fascinating animal. The rough green snake is the first snake I became really enamored with as a child. And I actually was taught to read with a book about rough green snakes. And I had several of them in my grandmother's backyard because a creek ran through her property. And so I was taught to read with this book about green snakes and then was able to go out and have the privilege of catching one. So that kind of laid the foundation for a lifetime of interest in uh, snakes and other reptiles. I've got some people walking through here. Um, they asked if I had a snake. I told them, yeah. And they just kept on walking. And a lot of people are wanting to see me release this guy. So I'm including that in this video. Special thanks to uh, Heath Hallam for helping me with this video. And look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.